Hello everyone! In my last video we talked about how to save Africa violets after overwatering and I showed you four ways of saving them when the violet is totally gone and when there is only root rot and where is the root is still live and where we can cut the African violet and put in water. I showed you four methods and today I want to talk about these uh, methods after four days. Today 29th of January 2019 and on 25th I did with you this violet and w some of them we put in sphagnum moss some of them we planted in the um, cups we saved their leaves and some of them we planted which they had uh, which were the, with roots we planted in the pot and some of them we put in the cup I didn't show you everything what I did with my African violets. I showed you only one one example from each type of method. And today, uh, after after taking video, I did whatever I need to do with my violets. I saved them, and I will show you the results. What happened with that violets after four days? And uh, the first. Um, First one I showed you that it was totally gone and it didn't have any uh, signs of life. Only few leaves were still alive and I planted in these pots and as you see uh, they are still living. And with this, uh, when I checked this uh, leaf, it was decaying from the stem and I cut that stem and I put half... Um, leaf in this pot and here I put very small tiny African violet stem and I told you that it's late little bit I was late if I could do it on time I could save this violet uh, baby I, I have to find I put uh, yeah in this corner and I will show you what happened when you put this uh, small African violet cutting it probably can live or it can die as in this case do you see there is some mold on this leaf and it's decayed already and this leaves this leaf is still alive but uh, let's see what will happen later or yeah it's still alive this leaf but this kind of um, small African violets, when you cut their bottom, sometimes they live, sometimes they can die. I was a little bit late with this violet leaf, uh, violet stem. And this stem, uh, I cut its uh, bottom, I cut its root, and I placed in the sphagnum moss here. And still live, you see? It means that will this violet will root when it doesn't want to leave uh, you will see the difference uh, it the from the leaves you will see the difference that it will they will look different they will not have signs of life um, and here I, um, I cleaned the stem of this violet and I pla uh, planted it in this uh, pot and you see it's looking better and how we know if, you, if this violet will live or not we have to check constantly three days after planting them and especially next day you will see the difference if the violet wants to live uh, it will have uh, better looking leaves and the middle leaves if you touch they will be firm like this you see i move and they come to their place they are not uh, floppy and they are strong now from the middle 
leaves from the central leaves you can see the difference you can differentiate uh, if this uh, violet will leave or not these leaves the central leaves are uh, strong and it means this violet will leave and here I planted in this method um, I saved some of the violets which I all watered I showed these violets last time but I didn't show how I did that I did the same thing what I did with this violet I showed you how I did this and this whilst I did the same thing I planted the uh, I cleaned their stem and they had still good uh, roots even though they were small some of the roots were decayed and I cleaned that part and the uh, live uh, roots I left and I planted in these small pots and I put here in the water and you see the central leaves they are still good and firm when you touch they go back they are strong and here the same thing they are strong these leaves they are dying because they were already uh, dying that time and I left some of the leaves some most of them I cleaned I left it's not uh, something dangerous this leaf will die and these leaves will get strong and here I planted one of the violet I didn't take I took lots of leaves and I didn't take too much I left some of them that were looking um, nice better and see they are not um, strong and they will not get strong we don't need to worry about these leaves these leaves will live and these leaves will die back until they die back they will work um, as a photosynthesis they will work and you see this uh, middle strand leaves they are strong it's a sign of uh, the violet is recovering and here i showed you other method which i rooted uh, my violet in this cup i placed it in the foam and I did with these violets the same thing this violet I showed you this was the first example I showed you that this violet will not live in the water uh, and then I said that you have to cut the roots and it can live but from the appearance uh, from my experience I know I, I can tell which uh, violet will live which violet will not survive that time I saw that this violet will not survive in the water and as, the, as I told you it happened with this violet because uh, I had lots of uh, violets and I have experience from the from their looking how they look from their uh, appearance I can tell what to do with the violet and which violet uh, to put in water which violet we can uh, put in a sphagnum moss even in the sphagnum moss this kind of violet will not survive i had in my experience uh, you see the leaves they have they turned brown i will show you i will take this violet these leaves turned brown and they want to die from the back you will see better watery leaves here and these leaves are drying only few leaves in the center is still green but they cannot survive without the help of these leaves if the big leaves die these small leaves cannot survive they will die too and only one violet I um, I lost and this 
violets I put them in the water I forgot last time to tell you that uh, you can you can use uh, rooting hormone if you have but it's not necessary violets can root in the water uh, without rooting hormone but now it's winter winter time it's very hard to root African violets in the water but uh, in this uh, if you have this kind of situation and you don't want you don't know what to do you try your best and you uh, do whatever you can do and I did uh, whatever I could to save these violets but uh, I used uh, rooting hormone um, because um, in the winter when it's cold they don't root well and rooting hormone it stops uh, the stem from the decaying and they will root better if you put with rooting hormone they will grow uh, strong and uh, strong uh, roots and thick roots if you add if you dip this uh, stem in rooting hormone i forgot to tell you last time it's optional if you want to use you can use in summertime it's not necessary but it's winter now and i wanted to save these violets that's why i used rooting hormone with these violets and you see um, i have uh, four of them in water and they are looking good and what you have to know about this method um, after next day next day when you put them in water you have to check the stem if the stem is firm or it's soft in this case you see the stem is decaying started decaying in water and you see what's coming out when I uh, scratch it with my fingernails and this will not root and if it's um, green still and it, when you scratch it nothing comes out it means that this violet will root and this will uh, die this will uh, this violet will die anyway and what we can do when they root we have to uh, after they will root we have to plant them this already this violet has already roots i showed you last time this violet and we put this violet in this way um, and what we have to do we have to choose the pot the pot uh, where we can plant this violet what kind of pot i use this is uh, uh, original pot from this violet which I bought from Florida still with a um, price and I saved its name also I put in this cup Austin smile this is very beautiful uh, African violet good I could save it and this is original pot from this wild why I choose this because I will explain you now do you see there's two pots African violets love uh, smaller pots uh, these pots are uh, same they have uh, they are four inch pots but the height is not same this is higher this is shorter you see this one is um, three inches long and how many centimeters seven and a half centimeters and here is 10 centimeters and here it's four inch this is four inch pot now you see better 
I was holding it wrong and this kind of pots African violets love this is the best uh, pot for African violets the best size and why I choose this pot because I will show you something if I put this uh, violet this is exactly the size with these roots and now we will plant I will show you how to plant this uh, violet I soaked this wick I'm gonna use this wick and do you see how I put this wick in the pot let me take my potting soil I put here spoon and I put uh, I hold my wick and this much soil I take and what I do I will make hill here small hill and I'll take out this little bit soil I take my violet and I have to take out from this foam I have to break it carefully I don't want to damage my roots like so roots grow in into the foam too that's why it's a little bit tricky to take out this foam from the violet do you see the roots they grow inside the foam and I do you see I couldn't take this root anyway it's not much and this much it can stay with this violet the foam is not something bad for the violet some people put even foam in the bottom of the um, violet pot do you see what I am doing now it has very thick and strong roots I love these roots usually uh, we can plant them when they have a little bit roots I was I'm a little bit late because I am very busy and I didn't have time I wanted to show you to make video about this that's why um, I didn't plant this violet and now you see it has long roots but you don't need to grow these roots to this point but I am showing you now do you see what I am doing now I placed uh, violet my violet on top of this hill what I made from potting soil and I put push this uh, roots little bit down because I don't want to leave the gap uh, between the roots and the roots will spread if I use this method uh, of planting the violet do you see how it sits on top of the potting soil all the roots are spread and I have to I know how uh, high 
is my violet seating now from this uh, till here in this uh, line it's sitting do you see and now I will cover my roots with potting soil first I will hide this wig here last time I forgot and I put some potting soil on top of the roots do you see how I am doing this the roots are not in one place and they they are not together I spread that roots now I cover this roots with a potting soil this potting soil I moist I made moist little bit it's not soggy it's little bit moist I don't like to use uh, very dry soil I before using my potting soil I moist it little bit not much maybe one or two ounces of water I put make it moist and I tap a little bit and my roots they stay between um, the potting soil and between the uh, between the pot and the roots there will be potting soil I don't uh, put much soil I have to put up to the first leaves I don't need to cover these leaves they don't need to sit deep in the potting soil otherwise they will decay we have to put up to this first leaf and firm little bit I don't press but I firm little bit here I don't press the soil it's not good for the roots if we press too much we can damage the roots and also the violet roots cannot breathe we have to fix it but not press it Do you see how I did? But my violet still is moving from side to side. If I put much soil, the roots, uh, the leaves can decay. But if I don't put enough soil, this will move from side to side because these roots they are not um, uh, how to say they are not uh, they didn't grow into the soil yet that's why these roots cannot hold this violet what i will do in this case because i cannot plant this deep i will use this uh, kebab sticks i put uh, i can break it okay let me break it and I will put from both sides carefully I feel the roots and I put in the soil and from the other side too and this way I've, I'm feeling the roots and I am putting it slowly I am moving the stick from side to side not to damage the roots and this way I placed it now you see it's not moving from side to side even you know we can fix here and and this uh, sticks will hold this violet I can add some more but this too is enough now and see how it's sitting my wild is sitting And now I can 
place it in the water how I water I will show you how I water after planting it's very important we have to water our violets after planting even though the soil is moist still we have to water this uh, violet why if you live without watering these roots used to sit in the water and this mo uh, soil is not enough um, the water in the soil is not enough for this violet and what we do we take uh, i will show you how much water i take we take one ounce of water one ounce it is one ounce and here is left little bit with this one ounce i measured and put in this uh, dish and how much how many spoons it's five spoons if somebody doesn't have this uh, buster turkey buster i use turkey buster to water my african violets two spoons three spoons four and five five spoons of water i put for this uh, four inch pot and i place my violet pot this week was uh, moist wet when i was placing in this pot because if it's dry it will work slowly if you uh, moist it uh, before you place it in this pot it will work faster and better and now it will start working again i put my violet in this uh, dish with water and it will drink the water how much it wants i don't like to water my violet when i plant i don't like to water from the top and the some people they do like that and the water goes uh, down it's too much water and that water can decay again your violet that's why we don't need to water too much just a little bit one ounce of water is enough for this kind of pot now you see there is no water left this uh, pot is enough moist and then uh, this wick started working i will show you the bottom if i can show you the bottom of the pot you see the soil is wet now and weak also it started working it was already wet and now i put in water and it started working better and now what i do i place my pot in the uh, jar of water this is from nutella you can use anything what you have i found it now and that's why i'm placing it here you can use better something if you have um, and how much water i put i put uh, water the water it doesn't need to touch the bottom of the pot it has to stay far from the uh, pot you can put this much water even but it's not necessary this much is enough for three two weeks and what I can say about this, uh, yeah, I have to put the name of the violet, not to forget. Here I place my violet name. This is clear water. I wanted to tell you about the water. It, this is clear water. And you know this violet is uh, fresh, with fresh roots and i i'm not going to add any fertilizer in this water i will see how this violet will uh, do after planting because this violet sit in the water and it used to water uh, maybe three weeks it sit in this water and now i have to see how it will act in this water i put in a bright place if you have um, growing light you can place your violet under growing light it's better if you have and if you don't have you can place in the 
close to the window in the bright place and you don't need to add any fertilizer because if you put a fertilizer it can uh, burn these roots because these roots they are fresh and they are you know they they are in stress now because we placed from the water we placed in the uh, potting uh, soil and it's they need time to be in the potting soil uh, it's like a, a kind of stress for them and that's why we don't uh, put any fertilizer in the um, water and after week or two weeks if you see that the violet is doing great if it starts uh, growing this middle central leaves you can add some fertilizer or you can take your violet separate from the jar you can put a uh, fertilizer in this kind of dish you can put one ounce uh, water with a fertilizer any fertilizer what you use for your african violets you can put here and we can take our african violet and place in the fertilizer and feed it after after that we can put it back in this water why i don't uh, put um, fertilizer in this water because i have in my case uh, they were doing great in this uh, clear water and when i put fertilizer in the water uh, my some of my violets they died that's why we have to give uh, this violet time until it grows uh, its roots in the soil new roots soil roots i can say and then it will it will get adjust in this soil it will get used to this soil and then we can later we can put water for with fertilizer in this jar and what what else i want to say you it's better if i place this violet in its uh, home this is water where it it used to sit and if i place in this water it's better than putting in the fresh water because this wild used to this water it sit in this water for many weeks and see how much space is left we can leave this much space between the pot uh, and the water but the water doesn't need to touch the pot otherwise the pot will take extra water and you can decay again your violet and that's it i wanted to talk about these things today thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you are new in my channel for more interesting videos about violets about um, orchids and other plants don't uh, Forget to subscribe my channel. See you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.